Hi guys, this is Trisha here with a very quick video. This is a perfume video, of course. What is there else to do? But anyhow, this is the review of Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. And um, this was a grow to love perfume for me. So I first smelled this last year sometime because i saw it online and i really wanted to get it because it was hyped up so i really wanted to get it so i went to bloomingdale's and i tried it and guys i really was not that impressed i actually bought um love don't be shy instead of this one because when i smelt it it just smelled like shampoo <laughs> It smelled like really expensive, you know, pedigree type of shampoo, but it was still smelling like shampoo. So I got a sample of it. I wore it for a while and then I grew to love it. Also, I mix it. So I mix it with, um, what is that? Liquid Diamond by Victor and Roth from their Magic Line. So I mix it with that and I get the perfect scent. So now this scent right here, guys, it's very elegant it's a white dress it's a floral dress it's brunch it's wedding it's not too much in your face it's just gonna give you a little bit of something but at first when i got it it wasn't giving me what i thought i was supposed to get <laughs> it just wasn't doing it so i do smell i'm gonna tell you guys what's in there what i smell for real for real because sometimes i don't know what i don't know what jasmine smell like I don't so but there's jasmine in here it says there's rose um pink rose to be exact which i can smell it's a mixture it's pink rose it's ethmanthus if i'm saying that right and that actually smell you can actually smell that apricotty type of scent that very um it's a sour scent almost but because it's mixed so well the sour with the sweet a little bit of sweet not overly sweet and i definitely smell the tuberose i'm a tuberose girl so i love a perfume with tuberose tuberose is very elegant to me it's just very pretty and this is what this is this is not a knock you down type of perfume it is a pretty elegant perfume so it's perfect for um brunch with the girls it's perfect if you're going to a wedding on a, a all white function. I they're not doing you know those big parties, but definitely lunch with the girls on the waterfront or something or Miami nights. That's what it's giving me. It's perfect for spring. It's perfect for um summer. I did wear it in the winter, you guys, when I wanted something just crisp and fresh that's what i did so this says it has some cedar and amber i can smell deep in the base definitely it's not um very very dark but it levels this perfume off because everything else is so flowery and so so sweet and so delicate there is a small base of the amber and cedar small not too much but this definitely is not a blind buy to me, it's not. I'm going to recommend that you guys do not buy this um, blindly because it, it it's definitely, um, it wasn't a first love for me. It was just, eh, it was okay. But then after you wear it for a while, you will get to like it. But I will wear this. You should wear this. Get a sample. Wear it before you invest in it. The longevity is, it's pretty long. First of all, if you're going to wear it in the summer, of course, summertime, springtime, you will get more out of it. I think it works good in the heat because it's not overly sweet. Um, so it does work in the heat. The flowers and stuff is um, not thick. It's not those thick type of flowers. So that I do like. <coughs> Excuse me. That I do like. So guys, um, a blind buy? No. Is it worth the whole bunch of money? Um, if that's what you're into, it's worth it. I ordered this from the actual website. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. It was worth it to me when I bought it, let's say. So, other than that, but um, you should try it. 
I'm rambling now, but I think you should try it, wear it for a while, see how it works with you. But just know that it's not one of those that's gonna bam in your face. It's a up close perfume after a while. It's um, the longevity on me is probably six hours. On clothes, it's even longer because I do smell it a while on, on my clothes. But again, I've been wearing it, obviously, so I do like it, but do not blind buy. So that's it for um, Killian, Good Girl Gone Bad. Hopefully you guys liked this review. Hopefully it was helpful, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.